Hey everybody, this is Rory from RoryCodes.com here with another web screen uh, demonstration slash tutorial slash showcase, whatever you want to call it. This is what I call the HTML format adder helper task. So the reason I created this was because uh, a lot of times if I wanted to add some uh, HTML formatting, if I didn't already know the tags, I'd have to look them up and then subsequently type them in surrounding whatever text I wanted to alter. Most of the time this was pretty tedious and until recently I spent quite a bit of time doing this so I decided to create something that would help me uh, shrink that time down. This can be useful for auto tools, uh, toasts, any kind of texts that allow uh, basic HTML formatting. Um, auto notification allows some of that and a few of the Tasker plugins from Nick Moen allow for this. So I'll show you, I'll get right into it and show you exactly what I'm talking about. This uses AutoShare's text processing feature. So what, I, what it does is if you select the text, <clears throat> you can select the menu here, select AutoShare, HTML format adder, and remember that I've got formatting selected. So out comes a Auto, an auto tools web screen. If you've seen some of my previous work you know that I'm sort of obsessed with Material Design Lite and it shows here. I've got uh, um, my navigation header, uh, I forgot what it's called, up here. I've got a few tabs and then also a header, uh, I'm sorry, a footer down below followed with a, an accept button. So a quick tour, uh, basic HTML formatting. I've got a few cards with some simple formatting uh, tags. The next tab, named colors. You got font colors: aqua, black, blue, gray, silver, white, yellow. You've got a few cards here. All of them have a preview button. Same with the basic tags. And last, the final tab, MD colors. You've got a few radio button options. Uh, followed by a, a button to send it to a card for preview down below. So you can either, you can select, uh, you can include a custom hex value color, or you can choose from the material design light colors, deep purple, and you know, any of these uh, colors listed herein, and choose them from there. So what I'll do for this demonstration, I'll, I'll show one from each tab. I will show, uh, let's go with the superscript. So as you can see, the selected text was formatting. I've got the superscript tags left and right in the, in the preview button below. Selecting the preview button will change the footer text. As you can see, this is the processed text HTML preview. It shows the what the text will look like when it's actually showing the HTML and not just the plain text. So hitting accept, once that's complete, should close out the web screen and add the relevant tag, HTML tags below. So just to test this, you can see that the uh, Tasker anchor label shows it accordingly. All right, let's do the same thing with a different different piece of text. This one is basic. Now if you've noticed, every single card includes the selected text, just to give you a preview of what it'll look like when you are when you hit the accept button. Bold, italicize, they've all got the basic, right? So the next tab, let's, let's try a named color. Uh, let's go with something that's going to stand out. Let's go with red. It's a font color, red, and this is a named color, as the tab suggests. With the, with the selected text, like I showed you before, it was the text basic. I'll hit the preview button, and below here is what this will look like when it's all said and done. Blah, blah, basic in red, blah, blah. Hitting the accept. We'll close out the screen, and there you go. Font color, red, basic. And just to test it out, there it is. Okay, so the final test, I'll show you the, the last 
tab, auto share, HTML format adder, the final tab. So you've got a list of the HTML, um, I'm sorry, the material design colors from uh, Google's material design website. This is from their color palette. Uh, let's go with a deep orange. Let's go with deep orange 500. Hitting the send color to preview card button will change the text within here. Now right now it's just a dummy text of the word color. And of course this is what I had selected to bring up this web screen is custom colors. So hitting this button should send that information here and if you want you can check it against material designs colors this should be the color for deep orange 500 and once I hit the preview button just like the other two tabs it should change the text below custom colors in the deep orange color FF5722 and of course accepting this closes the web screen out and I should be able to view custom colors in the deep orange 500 color uh, from the material design standards. Now for some reason this is taking quite a while to close out. Selecting back. Normally it should work. For some reason I had to select back in this case. And there you go. FF5722 custom colors. Closing it. There it is. The deep orange color. Great. So hopefully, if you use this, uh, it'll save you some time to for your you know pretty standard HTML format um, formatting, and uh, it'll help you out. Uh, just to be just to be safe, I added a bunch of error handling inside the web screen. So you know if there if you don't select the right color or if the preview isn't set, you'll get a little error message. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the task, guys. I hope it, you can use it to your advantage. Uh, if you want to change it, by all means, do what you want with it. Um, but it saved me quite a bit of time in, in creating some of my tasker tasks, profiles, projects, whatever you want to create. But I uh, hope you guys find this useful. For some of the previous, uh, previous web screen demonstrations or tutorials or, or projects files, I'll leave a bunch of links in the description below. Um, this is also part of a, a larger AutoTools web screen uh, website post from my my website so go check that out uh, otherwise I'll see you guys next time alrighty talk to you then